Hey guys, it's Cher. And if you're wondering why I look like a mess and why I'm dressed like a schoolgirl, that's because it's Halloween. And this is all part of my costume. No, I'm just kidding. Although, I will say that because the majority of my day is taken up doing schoolwork, the costume's not that far off. So it's Halloween, and my costume this year is, actually I don't even know what you would call this costume. I know that it's a Harry Potter character, but other than that, I guess just the rest is up to your imagination. Hogwarts student? Ambiguous Harry Potter character. I don't know. Early this year, me and my boyfriend Ryan visited Universal, and we really loved the whole Harry Potter world there. So he had the idea to just go ahead and use the robes he bought on that trip for his Halloween costume this year, and I was left to figure out something that matches. I'm kind of kidding because honestly, I don't care at all to be a Harry Potter character. I'm a super big fan of the books, and I'm just a huge nerd in general when it comes to reading. I knew I wanted to make some type of costume video this year, but I wasn't sure how to incorporate this costume into a video. So I decided to just go ahead and do a quick get ready with me for Halloween. I bought the costume. It came with little ties from each house. So technically I could really be any character I want to be. Ryan's robes are from Slytherin, but also because I am such a big fan of the books, I do kind of want to be Hermione just because she's the classic female character. So yeah, with that being said, I guess I'm just gonna try to do my makeup and hair like Hermione and see what happens. So I know that Hermione is not specifically known for wearing a lot of makeup. Actually, I'm not sure that she wears any makeup at all, but I wanted to do something even if it is just really natural. Also, while I do this, I kind of wanted to <laughs> talk about the reasons why I'm such a nerd and why I love Harry Potter so much. When I was a kid, I saw the first Harry Potter movie before I ever read any of the books. To be honest, I think when the first movie came out, I was still a little bit too young to really be able to read and understand the books, but I did really love to read even when I was that young. So at some point, my mom picked me up the second book in the series, and it was the first big book I've ever read. If you've ever read the series, then you know that, like, they're not thin books, they're pretty thick books. That was the first time I ever read that big of a book, and I remember finishing it so quickly because it was so interesting. After that, I continued to read them as they were released, always out of order for some reason, so I was always confused about what was going on. But regardless, I found the whole magical world idea super interesting. The movies I was not as big of a fan of, just because in my opinion books are always so much better than movies, usually. I'm not saying there's no exceptions, but very rarely have I read a book and then thought the movie was better. And I remember it just got me really interested in reading a lot more, which sounds silly considering it's like a children's book, basically. I still to this day think of that series as one of my favorites. I should probably go back and reread them since I haven't read them in so long. Like I said, I'm just gonna keep the eyes super simple because I'm pretty sure Hermione never wore any makeup. And if I'm gonna use one of the other ties and pretend to be someone else, then it doesn't really matter anyway. I think I'm gonna use my Tartlet in Bloom palette because it has a lot of really pretty nude and pink shades that I might use. I think it's only fair to use the shade Smarty Pants, considering. Which is something else I wanted to bring up. I really loved the character of Hermione. She loved school, she was always in the library, she didn't always fit in with everyone else, and she had dark brown frizzy hair. So yeah, I really related to her on a lot of different levels. <laughs> I'm really trying to be careful here and not get anything on this white shirt. I had to go ahead and put it on before starting my makeup because... Is that Harry Potter? Did you get all your costume stuff? Don't worry, I kept track of it. It's been in a drawer since January. Whose is this? You don't even remember which one was this yours? This is mine, I think. I think I remember this one being mine. That one's yours. Yeah. By the way, Ryan is not even being anyone in the main cast of the Harry Potter movies or books. Tom Riddle's not in the books? Well, he's in the books, but he's not a good character. No, nobody from Slytherin is a good character. I disagree. Okay, I think that's enough eye makeup. I'm trying to keep it super simple. Wow, you failed. I did? Yeah, anyway, Ryan's being Tom Riddle. He couldn't be Draco Malfoy because he didn't want to dye his hair white blonde. Or, well, he did want to dye his hair white blonde, but I wouldn't let him. I think I'm good on the makeup. I added some bronzer and some blush just so I don't look completely dead. Oh, and some highlight. 
But as for my eyes, I just used some light brown and pink shades with gold on the lid and then some mascara. Like I said, she doesn't wear a lot of makeup, so... As for curling my hair, it is naturally a little bit curly slash wavy, so I'm just gonna try to add a little bit more of that with an actual curling iron. Which, by the way, I haven't used one of these in, mm, I don't know, 10 years. So if I burn my hair off and or burn the entire house down, then you know why. Yeah, I'm not trying to do too much since it is already, like I said, a little bit wavy on its own. I mean, even in the movie, she doesn't really wear her hair super curly. She just wears it wavy, so. All right, you guys, that is the end of this video. This get ready with me for Halloween, Hermione slash Harry Potter character edition. Thanks so much for watching. To be honest, I could not think of another video to incorporate this costume into. Make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And you can click the bell notification below if you want to be notified whenever I post new videos. And I know by the time this gets posted, it's probably the day of Halloween, but happy Halloween. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, it's Jay and you're watching Disney Channel. Are we filming? Yeah. I found a pumpkin. I don't know what to do with it, but it's a pumpkin. How are you supposed to hold a wand? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. I just wanted the pumpkin in there. Creative abilities of this producer is appalling. I'm pretty sure that I'm the editor and producer. I've seen director. music videos for Bjork that made more sense than this.